Hello everyone, and here's a screencast for my project. Uh, we're going to start with a model uh, running on the Edge device on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, we can run this uh, like this, um, specifying the model and the device ID, which is the microphone. And I'll start classifying, uh, and as you can see, I'll classify mostly noise, uh, which is just any noise, um, water, uh, wind, all of that. Uh, we can start trying uh, a random bird. And we'll classify uh, mostly as unknown class, which contains all of the unknown birds. Uh, we can try now uh, with the RRP mannequin, which is the target bird uh, we want to uh, classify. And you can see it classified as the target bird. Uh, we can also check uh, if it works uh, with the background noise added. Uh, so let's add uh, some stream noise and play the target bird. And as you can see, it worked. Uh, so next up, uh, we're gonna. Uh, it's it's gonna uh, work the same on uh, as an Arduino. Uh, so you can see the red Arduino is already running, and um, if we uh, play the target bird again, and you can see it classified as a variable mannequin again. So it's the same model but running on Arduino Edge device. So uh, next up, uh, we're gonna show uh, the gateway device, uh, which is uh, listening to the results from both Raspberry Pi and Arduino Edge devices. And uh, we can start um, the this framework um, and start listening to results. And uh, here you go, it starts to listen. And the edge device will only send when uh, it classifies uh, a target bird. So let's play a uh, target sound again. And you can see it sent uh, the messages uh, to the... Um, to the uh, gateway device and you can see a uh, message has been received um, so on um, we can now uh, we, we received the messages on the gateway device and we can now actually uh, see um, what has been received so uh, we can uh, run this command to list all the classifications and you can see uh, we have the audio file name uh, which is saved on the Edge device. So the audio file isn't um, isn't sent by the Edge device because, um, as will be mentioned in the report, it's too large. So it will be saved on the Edge device and retrieved later. And then we also have the confidence level, the classification made, and the time it made the classification at. Um, so the gateway framework also allows uh, to list um, classifications by the label and when you have one classifications but um, it will retrieve only RRP mannequin labels and then uh, we can also uh, export all of the results uh, which are stored currently in the database into the CSV file and uh, we're gonna run export and we'll create a, a results.csv in the desktop uh, which will look at later. Uh, we can also uh, download audio from the um, from the Edge device. Uh, this only works only if Edge device is connected to the same network as the gateway device. And um, what will happen in real world is uh, we're gonna pick up the Edge device from the forest and uh, take it uh, back home and connect it to the same network and uh, using uh, this command um, we're gonna download um, from uh, the edge device to the uh, gateway uh, using this command and there you go um, it will uh, download all of the audio files that is specified in uh, this folder so we'll use uh, this this column to download all the files uh, for all the all cl classifications here. Okay. Um, so when we got both results in CSV file and the audio, 
uh, from the Edge device. Uh, we can now connect it. Um, we can now connect our own laptop to the same network as the gateway device. And then, uh, when we've done that, we can. Uh, there's two ways to copy files over. We can use SSH uh, to copy results over. Um, so this is um, me running on the laptop and uh, the use SSH copy uh, to copy the result CSV. And on entering password, we'll see a results CSV file here. And if we look into it, um, here is the CSV um, and we can later uh, use it for you know anything. Um, the second method uh, is using VNC. I need to download VNC viewer and uh, connect it to the gateway. And uh, here is the audio uh, folder. So all we do, we just need to click File Transfer, Send Files, and Audio, and then we'll have the audio uh, completed. Uh, we can then show in Finder, and then this is the audio file. Uh, got from the edge. I'm not sure if you heard it, but uh, this is the bird uh, we classified the RFP mannequin one. Uh, so that's it for the model and for the all of the uh, devices. Uh, we can show you now uh, the Raspberry Pi case and the Arduino case uh, created. Uh, so first of all, uh, you can see we have uh f six different mounting points four for the screws and uh two for zip ties on both sides uh then this part is for the um usb microphone uh, it'll be inserted and will be uh, protected by these walls from water and it will be vertical so it'll be placed like this and uh, the water will come down and uh, the space between walls will relieve pressure for the water drops to drop and now go inside the, uh, the case. Uh, in terms of the cover, it uses um, cantilever snap fit. So you can see uh, those arms. And for the top, uh, you'll use uh, similar arms, uh, which basically snap into place and uh, and attach together the bottom and the top bit of the case. Um, so the line on the edge is an O-ring. It's a rubber O-ring which will be placed into this space. And um, the top case will snap into it and uh, will push the rubber to make sure that no water will come uh, through this opening. In terms of um, Raspberry Pi, Here's the Raspberry Pi and um, <clears throat> all the hats. The hats I had to create manually because uh, there were no 3D models online. And you can see if you hide all of them, there are four uh, screw mounting points, uh, which Raspberry Pi will be attached to. The Arduino case uses a similar thing. Don't mind this cable, it will be wrapped inside. Um, it uses the same mounting points, it uses the same uh, snap fit, uh, but this is the Arduino one. Uh, the top of the case is a bit different. It's three holes for the microphone. And again, it will be uh, like this, vertically mounted. And the water uh, using this roof will just uh, slip and uh, will not go inside those holes. So, and also the top bit is going to be slightly different uh, as Arduino doesn't have uh, screw holes or we'll use um, those walls those four walls and four pillars to make sure the Arduino doesn't go um, and stay in place so for uh, results I'll talk this in a lot more detail in the report, but I'll just briefly mention it to you. Uh, I'll have the training results, uh, which uh, were by training the model. Um, and then we have the evaluation results. Uh, we evaluate um, <clears throat> the model matrix uh, using confusion matrix for both Microsoft and Falenia project model. 
we then evaluate final year project model running on Raspberry Pi and Arduino architectures, uh, see how long uh, the operating time, time is and how fast you can inference on both architectures. Then we carry out two uh, real world testing to see how it performs in real world. Uh, false negative test uh, basically um, checks how many real classifications have been missed. Um, and you can see it would giving you different conditions, um, getting different noises, different volumes, different distances, and uh, seeing how many it classifies and comparing it uh, on different architectures um, to different models. And false positive test is the opposite. Um, so it checks uh, how many uh, non-target uh, noises were classified as the target noises. And uh, more on this will be included in the report. Um, in terms of uh, where everything is stored, um, I have a GitHub project. The GitHub repository starts off with having a README file, which includes uh, all the information, uh, all the configuration information on how to install all the frameworks and how to set up uh, environment uh, variables. Um, uh, that must be followed to reproduce the project. Uh, so starting off with the lib directory, which includes all of the frameworks. Uh, so with Edge framework for Arduino, uh, it starts off uh, with a set setup block, uh, which will set up both uh, inference and audio sampling tasks, and will start uh, in will start getting audio from the microphone. Uh, next up in the loop block, it will uh, get the right buffer uh, with full of uh, audio data and then it will uh, start classifying on that buffer <coughs> and uh, it will print uh, results later on uh, when it gets to it. Uh, for the Edge framework for Raspberry Pi, uh, we have uh, the main function. Uh, which uh, will uh, run the model file. Uh, we'll start inferencing and we'll start recording at the same time. And uh, it will uh, also initialize the LoRa transceiver. And for each result, um, classify returns. Uh, we would uh, print the result. And uh, if, um, if the prediction is above the threshold or equal to it, and it's not a generic class, so it's the target class. Uh, it will uh, save the audio and uh, it will send a LoRa message in a separate thread. For the gateway framework, uh, we have a few functions which users can uh, choose um, to list classifications and by label, to export a database into CSV, and uh, to listen to results and uh, download audio uh, from Edge, uh, all of which uh, were already explained in the report. And then Microsoft Framework, uh, which uh, was used uh, to evaluate Microsoft Framework, uh, Microsoft uh, model, um, and it is a very simple um, framework which will save the audio into a audio uh, to web file, uh, convert audio to features, uh, run inference on those features, and all will be done synchronously because um, it's, it's just used for evaluation. Not, it will not be deployed in the real world. Uh, we have uh, the other folder, which uh, includes uh, 3D models for both Arduino and Raspberry Pi. I'll have STL files, uh, which are the printable files, uh, which uh, can be used to print out the cases. And then we'll have uh, Fusion 360 uh, specific files uh, for all the hardware uh, used to create the case and as well as the case, uh, which can be imported and uh, edited. And same goes for Arduino. Uh, we then have results, which includes two Excel files, uh, training and ev evaluation results, which were uh, showed previously. And then we have training data for free classes, uh, includes uh, all of the WAF files, 
uh, audio files um, which were used uh, for training. Then we have uh, tools. Uh, first tool was uh, augmented augment audio data, which was used by uh, a variable mannequin uh, class, the target bird, to increase uh, the class uh, class samples in the data set. Um, so this file was used um, with four different uh, augment techniques, uh, change pitch, change speed, inject noise and shift time and um, they were cho chosen randomly and um, they were used uh, to duplicate data and uh, change it up slightly uh, so as you can see all the wooden uh, the specified directory and uh, we'll uh, use one of the uh, augment techniques uh, for uh, this library this was used uh, for the large and Seabury. Uh, really, the two functions here, uh, the two most important ones which were used is to send, uh, send lower message and to receive. Receive was used by the gateway and send was used uh, by the edge uh, Raspberry Pi device. And lastly, we have a wiki folder, uh, which includes uh, the M MD files. Um, and what, what they explain uh, is the design for every task uh, I have done in the project and uh, they show uh, what will be done and uh, how it will be done and they were created before the tasks I carried out and that's it for my project thank you for watching